Your fly is way down. Hello, Internet Gremlins. Daily Grace here from Item Channel Live. Wee, 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 wee. Did you guys see yesterday's show? You didn't? Why? What were you doing? Gross. Here's a clip. Hold on. First, let's try this one. I'm gonna open your mouth. Okay. Oh, yes! <laughs> we actually got it. <laughs> that was really exciting. Hey. Wow. Oh. Oh my god. In some countries, they're married now. Sorry, Miss Glamorazzi. Oops. Duh. Hey guys, let's get into this beautiful mess of a show and start with MFCFLTS, my favorite comment from last Thursday's show. It comes from Calabala009. Do your Kristen Stewart impersonation. Go! Okay, I have been working on uh, Kristen Stewart impersonation for upwards of 13 years now. Before she was famous, just when she lived in Wyoming, in that house on Central Street, there may be a restraining order out for me against her, against me. But let's just get with the impersonation. Here we go, ready? <clears throat> ah. And scene. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Ah, millionaire actress. You could feel it was right here in the studio with you. Speaking of millionaire actress, I have a very special guest on today's show. He is a writer, he's a comedian, he's a YouTuber, and he is the co creator and co host of Two White Guys Podcast. Please welcome Jason Horton. I'm also an artist. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a picture of me with vampire teeth saying I'm dumb. <gasps> Even the artistic rendering is as self-deprecating as the real life rendering is. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for being here, Jason. Thank oh, we'll are, you sell, like are, you, are, are you selling me insurance? Yeah, <laughs> okay. exactly. Awesome. I have a great deal. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Do you know that there's another Jason Horton out there? Yes, I am aware because uh, I Google myself all the time. Who doesn't? And there apparently is a blacker, more football-ish version of me, professional football version. No one can be blacker than this guy. He's close. He's 3% blacker and okay. like 5% more football-ish than me. Yeah, he, I, I, cause I Googled you this morning. Yeah. Cause I knew certain things about Jason. Like he likes plaid. He has impaired vision, but I didn't know a whole lot about him. And I found out that Jason Horton is a quarterback who's currently a free agent. He was signed by the Toronto Argonauts as a free, undrafted, what? As an undrafted free agent in 2003. So I run all the downs. I touch down all the yardage. You, sports. Sport and right? sports, also sports. What, all the sports. Now, my question for you is, do you want us to murder this man for you? No, you know what? I like the uh, competitiveness. I enjoy it. I thrive on it. Do you thrive on your identity being stolen? Uh, no, it's, it's I don't shared. Have, I it's don't shared. have any money or assets. I have bad credit. Do you, is it, what if there was more than one of you? I've Googled it. I've tried to find it. Have you guys found it? Because I, uh, I would murder that girl. I wouldn't. I'd kill her. With kindness. But you can make her do all the things like chores and stuff you don't want to do. Like, I don't want to do dishes, so you're going to make but the other you. <laughs> I don't know if that's how that works, though. Oh, oh, maybe you get in a car accident with her. And Have you she'll been be... doing the other Jason Horton's dishes? How do you know which Jason Horton this is? <laughs> oh, my God. Hollywood makeup. Oh, my God. Okay, now, Jason, you got to interview me on your podcast. Yes. Now, I'm going to take this opportunity to interview you on my show. Okay. Okay, so question one. What is your favorite YouTube video that I have done? Uh, I get asked this a lot, and my favorite one is by Magic Hugs, How oh, to Be Tight. You didn't hear the second part of that question. Uh, I'm just, yeah, okay. What's your favorite YouTube video that Grace Elbig has made? Oh, it's that one where it's like, oh, oh, my favorite one is the one where you're like, hey, I'm Grace, duh, I eat sandwiches all day and night. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite one that you do. Thank you. That yeah. one re almost went viral. Real, yeah. real close. 873 views. Yeah, people could not understand what I was saying because uh, I had too many sandwiches in my mouth. Okay, question number two. Yes. How did you get started watching my videos? I got started in this wonderful world of YouTube.com <gasps> slash internet uh -huh. comedy. Uh, I was doing uh, stuff with UCB, Upper uh, Sensor Brigade in, in Los Angeles, uh, and out here in New York for a little bit, and then uh, I was an actor, comedian, and then 
Uh, totally sketch, Michael Gallagher. Uh, heard kind of, of him. Heard of, yeah. Hair for days. Uh, I, I cheeks knew. for weeks. <laughs> Which cheeks? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> uh, and so yeah, he was uh, through Bri Esring who joined my improv group that I started. Improv group I started in San Diego. Cool. Moved to LA. We met. I just showed up at his place and we started doing videos. And ever since, I've just been doing uh, videos and collabs and all that kind of stuff. It's the best way to get yourself involved. Just show up at someone's place and start making a video and work for free. Yeah, that's true. And then make money off of your hard work. Oh my God. Last question, what do you see yourself doing in five years? Egg on my face, I read that wrong. What do you see me doing in five years? Okay, what do I, what I see me doing in five years? Turning 23, <gasps> for starters. Wait, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, figure it out, do the math. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just hope to, I, I wrote two films, I love writing films, and I've had a lot of success with them. They're being optioned or developed. Whoa, buzzword! Yeah. Uh, but I hope to, uh, I love the traditional media, but I, but I also hope to never, well, internet's, you know, gonna take over, but I, I never would wanna leave that because I like, I don't wanna have like some casting director say like, oh, you're allowed to act now, like you're allowed to create now, so I love uh, the world of YouTube. And Creative like, freedom. Yeah. Creative freedom. Speaking of creative Attica. freedom, uh, here's a dinosaur. Twitter and Tumblr Q and A. We asked you guys for questions via Twitter with the hashtag Madam Channel Live. So let's answer some of those questions. You're sick of me asking you. Let's let them ask us. Let's take a Twitter question first. What do we have? This comes from myself, Tony. Uh, do you believe in unicorns and jelly beans? Whoa, we try not to get religious on this show. Yeah, but um, it's a hot button. It's a hot button. Uh, I believe jelly beans are uh, like eggs, like that are come out of uh, like a, a big jelly bean. So yeah. those are their babies. So when you're eating jelly beans, you're eating some jelly bean mom's babies. Jason is pro-choice. If you didn't know that. Yeah. Let's take another Twitter question, shall we? This comes from Rawins418. How many times should failing a driver's test be enough to know you shouldn't drive? My GPA is up to it's eight. Gran grandpa. Oh, my grandpa. <laughs> you should never be driving or anything if you can't I was like, read. why is he telling me about You don't his understand GPA? internet speak. G pop? Like is that like K pop? You know, I'll tell you. Like it, took me, uh, it took me five times to pass. And I, I took it, what? you know, well, I took it in New York, and the winters are oh. rough. And I always took it in the winter oh, with the, the big station rough. wagon. With the big station wagon, so it was really, really hard. But then I took it in a Geo Metro and passed on time number five. Whoa! I passed on my first time because my driving instructor parallel parked the car for me. Yay! Still to this day. How are you going to learn anything? Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Trial and error. I hit someone's car in LA. I gave them my phone number, they never called me. So, all you can do is be a good person, is my philosophy. That's not your philosophy. <laughs> it's not. Let's take another Twitter question, shall we? Who is this from? This is from Jelly Moustache. How do you write an erotic novel? Like this. This is how you write it. Okay. She walked in, she was wearing electric blue. God, it was electrifying. She walked into the three, the pointy triangle table, hit a bell. And then she was like, I want all sandwiches. I want all the sandwiches. <laughs> and then I cried. That's how you do it. Whoa, whoa, 50 shades of grace. That was right that was there. like that was like 23 shades. Ooh, yeah. I have all I have another like 27 to go. Oh I don't my know. god. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Well, let's take another comment so we can all cool down from that one. Maybe someone should option that from him. Uh, this is from YouTube, from Sam's Room with the View. Grace, if you could have a pet unicorn, what would you call it? This show is so religious I right know, now it's like, that uh, it's out of control. Um, if I could have a pet unicorn, what would I call it? Um, I would call Jason it. Horton? Jason, Jason Horton. Jason Horton, yes. Oh my gosh, I would not call it that. I'd call it Shakira. Let's take TV a singer? <laughs> Let's take another question. You forgot Twitter she was question. a singer. No, she's, her hips don't lie. Huh. Neither do I. I remembered. Uh, Nike Esther Waltz. Nikema. Exactly. What would you do if you had to stay underwater for the rest of your life? I would probably die at some point. No, you know what I would do is uh, I would look at all the girls in their bikinis. <laughs> you can just do some serious upskirting. <laughs> well, he's not wearing skirts, but I would just look at all Sometimes the bikini girls. Sometimes they make girls. the bikinis little skirts on them. Yeah. You look at all the bikini girls? Yeah. That sounds like a really fun, that sounds like a Beach Boys song, yeah. right? Look at all, all the, the bikini, bikini girls. girls. 
Bikini girls. Bikini girls. girls. Option it from us. Let's take another Twitter question. This is from Haley Horan. 1018. Tell us a story about a pony and a butterfly right now. Well, I'll leave the master storyteller to. Um, There was a pony. He walked into a nightclub and he was just like, "I'm only here for one drink. Maybe get my groove on, dance for a little bit." And he's like, "Then I'm out. You know what I mean? Because I don't need this." And then, well, he saw her uh, across the room. It was a, it was a butterfly. Um, she was just barely 18, so she just got her like, it was legal for her to go in, so she went in, and then um, they started dancing on the dance floor hard, like dirty dancing style, but dirtier. Then they started making out, which was weird, because the butterfly's mouth is like this big, and the pony's mouth is really, really big. And then they got married and had babies. Wow! Whew! Another, Another tale of Another erotic hottie. fiction, my god, holy yeah. moly, option that from her, him, look at this You don't know if it's a guy or a girl. I don't, you tell me, what, what, what is this? That's racism. No, it's not, it's genderism. It's a lot of isms going on. Yeah. And guess what, guys? Oh, no, oh. and now it's time for endism. The oh. show is over today. Thank you, Jason, for being here with Thank me. Thank you for really having me. I appreciate it. Where can people find you on the internet? You can find me at youtube.com slash Jason Horton and Twitter at Jason underscore Horton. And check out the Two White Guys podcast on YouTube on my channel. There you go. Great. And you can find me every other day of the week at madamchannel.com slash Daily Grace. Mm. I will see you guys next Thursday. Tell Beth I said hey. Bye.